my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. Yes, we're a little bit behind. I apologize for that. We have tons of videos coming up for you guys, so you guys definitely stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get notifications, that um, notification bell as well. Click on that so you guys can get updated on the newest videos that are coming out. Also, as you guys can see right here, we have uh, a lot of restock. Uh, you can find all of this in my online store. Uh, the link is at the bottom of the description as well as at the end of every video. Um, your favorite soaps are restocked. They are now for purchase as well as spell work candles prepared ritualized through ceremonial rites. Uh, depending on what it is that you're trying to do or what you're looking for, you'll be able to find all of that. We have tons of new candles. We have uh, consecrated candles as well. Like I said, prepared. All you have to do is basically light and our oils are restocked as well. All right, Aries, let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of March 2022. Spirits, please give us what is the communication like? with the element of air as well as, oh, okay, I'm going to put them back in. Give us communication, the element of air. Give us finances and career, element of earth. Give us the challenge for the month of March 2022 for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, element of fire. Emotions, element of water, romance and relationships. And the general energy here we go Aries how are you guys doing my lovelies hope you guys are doing amazing let's get into it all right first card here we have the devil card maybe dealing with Capricorn type of energy this can also be you releasing yourself from any attachments any type of bondages uh, this could be in regards to uh, releasing or acknowledging toxic traits or behaviors this can also be you pulling away from people that are draining your energy uh, I see almost like a revamping of energy for you, Aries, in this month of March. All right, your first card here is the Nine of Swords. So I see you guys struggling, uh, getting a lot of anxiousness or a lot of stress in regards to communication. Could be with a specific individual that you're dealing with um, on a personal level. For others of you, this could also indicate having trouble communicating. I feel like for some of you guys, you've been holding back for a bit. This could create a lot of anxiousness, a lot of stress, a lot of depression. So you guys need to be careful with that. Next card uh, that we have here, Princess of Pentacles. This is in your finances and career. I definitely see you guys taking on a new project, some type of new investment. Um, for some of you guys, this could be an expense that may come up in the month of March. Nothing to worry about. I don't feel like it's anything that you wouldn't be able to take care of. However, um, they are telling you to be a little bit more cautious when it comes to your finances, um, save instead of spend at this present time and, uh, the next coming weeks, it's going to be important. Uh, like I said, I do see a new endeavor, a new project, something that's going to come up for you guys, uh, in regards to your career or finances that is going to help you open doors up, um, maybe even doors that you didn't know were there. For some of you guys, this could be taking an apprenticeship or being guided to take some type of study, some type of, uh, you know, like a learning type of thing, um, some type of training involved here. But like I said, I feel that it's going to be in the positive because it's going to help you continue growing within your field or within the company or within the business that you do. Um, just like I said, be a little bit mindful in this month of March not to overspend as there may be an unexpected uh, expense that may come up in this month. Your next card here, when we're talking about the challenge for this month, the hanged man, you got to see things from a very different perspective, Aries. I feel like you guys have been in this wanting to grow, wanting to expand, but there's a lot of things that hold you back. And, and the majority of the time, it's your fear. It's almost like you're expecting or wanting to see with certainty. If I move forward or if I take this step, I'm going to this is exactly what's going to happen. This is exactly what's going to unfold. What Spirit is telling you is for this month of March, if there is anything that may come up that may seem like an opportunity and you feel excited about or you feel passionate about, don't let the fear of taking that step 
hold you back because right now you need to see things from a very different perspective and a lot to do with career and finances. So again, um, you know, don't box yourself in Aries. Um, for some of you guys, this could be as an example, if you've been at a company for a very long time and you haven't seen progress there or any incentives, anything that the company would motivate you to maintain yourself there, maybe it's time for you to expand your horizons. Maybe it's time for you to shop around and see what's out there. Maybe even look into the position that you're doing. Maybe somewhere else they're paying more or it has a better um, opportunities of growth and advancement or perhaps better benefits. Don't put yourself in a box for this month, Aries. And when it comes to relationships and partnerships, we have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups could indicate a bit of not feeling not feeling excited about your romantic life for some of you guys. I feel that for a lot of you guys, it's like reminiscing about the past or thinking about a person from your past. And it's almost like how time has progressed and things haven't gotten any better or haven't stabilized. What Spirit is telling you is don't be a negative Nancy. Um, it's important for you to count your blessings, Aries. And when we're talking about relationships and partnerships, if you feel like there's been a strain or there's been a distancing in the relationship and you've tried or you've put effort into maintaining or fixing the relationship, if at this point you don't see reciprocation, it's time to cut your losses and move forward. Uh, you're the, again, I keep hearing you're the only one that's holding yourself back right now. So again, think of the future, be excited about the future and what you want so that you can focus that energy and help it manifest quicker for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys soon. Till then, bye.